Hi there, my name is Jack and I'm the head pilot here at Propel and in this video I'm going to teach you how to trim your drone if it is unstable in flight. Now your drone may be unstable in flight if you're flying in windy conditions or if your drone has taken a knock after a crash. Now if you've crashed your drone, we always recommend that you recalibrate your gyro. Now to do this, I recommend you watch my video on syncing and calibrating the gyro to teach you how to do so. Before you take off, we want you to make sure that all of the trims are in the centre. This means that when your drone takes flight, it will fly straight and true. Every one of our drone's controllers has trim tabs on the face of the controller. To find your trim buttons, please refer to your specific user manual, but I will show you on this controller here. When I press this trim button, you will hear a beep. This lets you know that you have applied some trim to your drone. So if my drone is drifting to the left, I may want to add a few clicks of right trim. When I take that trim out by putting some left trim in, you will hear a longer beep. This lets you know that your trim is in the center and you are not trimming your drone unexpectedly. We always want you to make sure that there is no trim being applied to the drone before you take off. Now in this section of the video, I'm going to teach you how to trim our Star Wars line of drones. Now our controllers don't have any trim tabs on the top, but you can still trim your Star Wars drone. This button on the back here is used to fire your lasers, but it also doubles up as our trim button. So when you press it once very quickly, you'll hear the laser sound. But if you hold it down, you'll hear a beep. This means that you have entered into trimming mode. Now to trim our drone, we use our flight control stick. So if you push your stick all the way over to the right, you'll hear a beep. This means that you have entered one click of right hand trim. And if you move it back to the left, you'll hear a longer beep. This means that you have returned the trim back to the center. So if when I take off, I notice my drone drifting to the left a little bit, I would want to land my drone, hold the button down and add a few clicks of right hand trim in. Then when I take off again, my drone should be flying straight and true. If it isn't, repeat this process until your drone is flying the way you want it. I have a separate video on our YouTube channel to teach you how to recalibrate your Star Wars drone's gyro. So please head over to our YouTube channel at Propel to go and watch that there. If you've completed every step in this video and your drone is still drifting or wobbling in the air, please contact our customer services who will be happy to help you further. I hope this video has helped you get back into the air and happy flying.